All right, so we are going to talk about uh, simplifying radical expressions. Specifically, we are going to look at the distance and the midpoint formula. So I have the distance uh, formula written here. You can do the x's first and then the y's, or the y's first and then the x's. It really doesn't matter because it's being added in the middle. And so with addition, the order really doesn't matter. So just depending, I guess, on what book you're looking at. So we need to understand that the distance formula is used to find the distance between two points, our x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2. And then we're also going to do the midpoint formula, and it's the midpoint of a line segment whose points are x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2. And it's given as this formula. So that's all we're going to do here for this video is just look at those two um, types of problems. So the first one we are going to do Example one, we are going to find the distance between the points. All right, so our points are two negative five and one negative four. So the thing I'm always going to suggest to you is to label your points, x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. And recall that our formula is d is equal to that square root of the difference between our x's. So x sub 2 minus x sub 1 plus our y's, y sub 2 minus y sub 1. And they're both being squared. All right, so let's go work our problem. So we're going to have d is equal to that square root x sub 2. That's going to be 1 minus x sub 1 plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1. So notice we end up with that double negative right there because we have to also use the subtraction from our formula and we have a negative number. So what you can do is go ahead and the, turn that into a positive because of the double negative. So this will get us the square root. 1 minus 2 will get us negative 1 squared. Negative 4 plus 5, same thing as 5 minus 4, will get us 1 squared. I always put it in the parentheses because I need to understand that the whole thing is being squared, whether it's positive or negative. So we'll get the square root of 1 plus the square root of 1, because 1 squared is 1 as well, which gets us the square root of 1 plus 1 is 2. Now, in your homework, it might ask for the, in the radical form, or it might ask for a decimal approximation, and that would look like that. So depending on what the homework is asking for, in on a test, I'm going to be okay with the um, square root notation of it. All right, let's go look at a second uh, problem. So this would be example two, and we are looking at negative three, seven, and negative two, three. All right, so again, we're going to label those points, so x1, y1, x2, y2. So now we have the distance is equal to that square root of the x's. So negative 2 minus a negative 3 plus the difference of the y's, 3 minus 7. And make sure you square both of those. So we'll have the square root, negative 2, remember that's going to become a positive 3. So 3 minus 2 will get us 1 squared. 3 minus 7 will get us negative 4 squared. Square root, or so the 1 squared is going to get us 1, and negative 4 squared will get us 16. This will get us the square root of 17. And again, if it's looking for a decimal approximation, just put it in your calculator, and that would be your answer. All right, so that's how you do the distance formula. Make sure you label the points. The big issue I see with my students is they'll grab the wrong value. So always, always label it so that you know what's going on with it. The next example we're going to look at will be our midpoint. So the midpoint, this will be example three, and we're going to find the midpoint. 
Again, that's the point in the middle between two points. And remember, our formula is going to be x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2, y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2. So basically, you're adding those two values together, dividing by 2. The parentheses are really important because it is a point. So if you're in my class, if you don't put the parentheses, you'll lose a point on the exam because you need to put those on there. All right, so our first set of points are going to be negative 3, 3, and 1, 0. So again, I'm going to tell you, label the points. All right, so here we go. X sub 1 plus X sub 2 will get us negative 3 plus 1 over 2. And then we have 3 plus 0 over 2. Negative 3 plus 1 will get us negative 2 over 2. 3 plus 0 is 3 over 2. And then you've got to see if it will reduce. Well, negative 2 over 2, that will get us negative 1, and this will still be 3 halves. Typically, we leave them as fractions. We will not turn them into a decimal answer. All right, let's go look at one more problem. So example four, we have five, negative two, eight, negative six. So those are the two points that we have. Again, we're going to label x1, y1, x2, y2. So we'll have 5 plus 8 over 2, negative 2 plus a negative 6 over 2. 5 plus 8 will get us 13 over 2. Negative 2 plus a negative 8, or sorry, negative 2 plus a negative 6 will get us a negative 8 over 2. This one will not reduce this time, but this will. So you still have 13 halves, and negative 8 divided by 2 will get you negative 4. And that would be your final answer. So that's how you find the distance and the midpoint using um, two points.